Is there a way to... No? Okay. It's the best quality there is. It's okay. We can still see what's going on. Okay. So the, the moment you saw him start... Wait, okay. Alright. Hold on. So the moment you saw him start Q, I, 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 you should always, especially against the Cho'Gath, you should just wait to see what he, what he starts. So he started Q here, right? And the next time, just wait to Q up, or level up Q or E. Because, it, also, when you, I like that, okay. So you Q'd him. You should just look to, like, just push in the lane and get lane control. You're not going to really affect, like, be able to, he's not going to be stupid enough to walk up for a Q auto. So I don't like that Q there. Also, I, I wish you would have waited to get Q or E. Because if he started E, then you're never going to be able to push him in. But since he started Q, and, I mean, you got hit by it. But even so, you got hit by it. Like, you can just auto up and heal up. And then you, if you started E here, especially with the longsword start, you would have been able to push him in. Like, wait till you're able to, like, you would auto the melee minion down until you're able to last hit it. And then get your E refunded. And then just push him in. And then, like, be play safe around the three minute mark. But, so, so that was the first mistake that I see here. Um... And then also, after you got hit by it, you queued him, which you are never going to be in, a, like, auto-attack range. Like, it's not really going to happen unless he just walks up, which is not ideal. So I'd rather see you use your Q on the minion wave. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. So, I mean, I, oof, all right. You should, all right, so yet again, you should just be queuing, like, I don't know. It, it, you, you should just be looking to farm and, like, look to outscale the, like, just, like, just look to maneuver. Like, you're, you're just taking some really bad traits, and I... I hope when you see this, you'll know that these are really bad trades, but we'll, we'll continue to see what happens. Oh my. Alright, you got W. You're in a really bad spot. I'll just back off, so then... I mean, he's pretty oom, but... Yeah, he's pretty oom, so he kind of oom himself. You're kind of lucky there. Yet again, just wait. Your caster's... Now you're going to probably... Mm, I don't like that you're queuing him. You're not doing any damage to him. Use your shroud here. Actually, you're okay, I guess. You don't need to use your shot there. That was okay. Alright. So now you have an edge because he has no flash. You should just look to farm and take trades when you can. Like right now, I would just shroud in, auto E. And then your shroud would be in a position. Oh wow. He's just allowing you to do that? Alright, I'm just gonna stop predicting and just like. Comment after the fact and stop judging. Well, I mean, I should be judging, but I don't know. The Cho'Gath is weird. Making some weird decisions. Oh my god. He's... Alright, so that Cho'Gath is totally respecting your Rek'Sai. side. Like, the Cho'Gath is not wanting to walk up at all. That's interesting. I guess it's also the fact that you... Ooh, good, good. Oh, you can kill him. Kill Oh. You still could have killed him. Actually, no, it would have been really risky. So that was really smart for you to back off. Alright, so that was super smart that you backed off. The moment you saw the Kha'Zix, you, like, backed off. That's great. That's great. Don't listen to me going for the kill. I mean, you might have been able to kill him, because he had no flash or ignite. With, like, uh, an, uh, an empowered auto E ignite, and then you would have been able to get another auto in. And then with your shroud, you probably would have been safe. The, the thing I don't... You, you haven't used, sh you haven't used shroud once. I haven't seen you use shroud once. And I feel like... You gotta use it to, like, try and farm a little bit more. But also, you had that really weird level 1. Oof. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um, but you got a really weird level 1 trade. Okay. Now you're in an awkward spot, because it's a siege minion, or a cannon minion wave, and you're not gonna be able to... He's gonna get back, and then... He might be able to push it in. Depending on how things go. 
Oof, unfortunate. Alright, so I would back here, and I would get Amp Tome, double potions. Oh, he missed the knockout. Oh, maybe you can get a kill here. Oh. Oh my. Alright, so that is really unlucky because now you got even less. I mean, I guess it's still. Okay, that actually works. It actually worked that you went up there and wasted a bunch of time because you got boots, which, I mean, you could have gotten a health potion, double health potion, pink ward, but. Amptone Boots against the Cho'Gath with no flash is pretty strong. You're level 5, you're going to be 6 in 2 waves. Or, yeah. Yes. The wave after this, you'll be 6. I just want you to use your shroud. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for you to fuck him up, because he has no flash. He has, he has Ignite up, but look at that. Good sidestep there. boy. Good job, good job. Alright, so another thing you can see, okay, you see how, okay, what I want you to think about is like, you see how you, you, you should know that you're going to hit 6 on this wave. And so I, I want to see if you do, like basically what I want you to do. Oh, uh, good job. I mean, he... You did. You kind of did what I wanted you, you to do. You're lucky that he walked back in, but um, into the shroud. But yeah, that's basically what I wanted you to do. Like, kind of like play down, shoot your Q, and then back off, and then hit six. Like them not knowing that you have an XP advantage, and then you just fuck them up once you hit six. So you had a shaky start, but looks like the Cho'Gath is not super smart, and you came up so so far. So far, so good. All right. So you have a massive win lead over mid lane. Gonna grab a singe kill here. I like it, dude. Still haven't used your shroud, but oh, ah, uh, just all right. So instead of chasing for the same direction that your teammates are, you should have shrouded back around. But I think you know that. I, I I think that you know that. Like when you're walking this way, you should have walked around this pillar right here. You just caught him off that way because the way you went made it made you go in the same. You used your shroud there, but like, well, you're not buying any potions. Okay, so not buying any potions can be really risky. Like if you get ganked, if you get con if you get Q silenced, like if you get comboed, hit get hit by a combo by Cho'Gath, you're gonna be kind of like in kill range for his ultimate ignite. So if you don't have any potions, because you're not gonna be able to safely walk up, but you are also really ahead, and so you're pretty lucky that you're this ahead. I'll kill him. Oh, he is... Okay, so Cho'Gath when is behind is pretty bad, so... Hmm. I mean, there's not really much you can do right now. I mean, you could be, like, trying to roam, but it's better for you to try and stomp your lane right now. Because Singe is just going to try and be annoying and proxy, and then your bot lane right now is in the middle of a fight, but it's not a good time for you to roam right now. I mean, right now, if you want to... Like, since you see, since you keep Kha'Zix bot lane, you could always Shroud in to just get, just chunk him out. Like, you don't have to, like, get all in him. But just chunk him out, man. Ooh, you look like you want to dive him. And I feel like that would not be a good idea. Like, just, like... Alright, I need to stop saying, like, but... In that situation, you saw Kha'Zix bot lane. It's very unlikely for him to be mid right there. Like, let me go back. How do I go back? All right. So right there, just Shroud Ultimate. He he only has mana for both either either his Q or his W. He already used his ultimate on a minion. So in this range, you're barely out of ultimate range. I want you to like Shroud, Ult, Q Auto, E. Back off. Like, you, and just chunk him out. Just slowly chunk him out. He's oom. He has no potions. The only way he can sustain is getting last hits under turret, which still isn't enough. So just, like, look, just chunk him out a little bit. You, you have a massive lead, but you're not really pressuring it. I know he's playing super safe, but 
Like, there's times where you can shroud when you know that no one's around you. Top lane just double killed themselves. And so, and their bot lane just pushed Kha'Zix and their bot lane out. So, this is a time where you could just look at the map and try and look at that shit. And sometimes it's hard to think about that while you're in-game, but that's stuff that you can think about and learn to abuse when you're this ahead. Like, you only have a kill, but if you look at, I'm pretty sure the CS, he's like 15 CS and you have 43. And you're like a level and a, and a half in experience-wise above this guy. Like, and you keep on just trying to queue him, which is fine, but you need to, like, try and work to get those auto attacks and not and like use your shroud more often not like wait like just waste it for no reason but like right now he's coming at you he probably has some help oh all right he's dead nice good shit all right that was smooth don't oh does rex have a flash mm. oh that was pretty smooth good job that was, really, that was, like, the best case scenario. Chug at Flash, I think, yeah? Yep. Alright, so he flashed. Let's see if he remembered that. I mean, he didn't ping it, so I don't think he noticed. Alright. Buy a potion. I mean, you're really ahead. Like, but potion, like, just one potion goes a long ways. But you are extremely ahead, so I guess you don't need a potion. It's not a necessity. Mm, chasing the singed, man. What do people say about chasing singed? Uh, although, this could turn into a double kill. There you go. Oh. You're losing a lot of minions mid, so you gotta go now, or you're gonna lose a lot of mid gold and experience mid. Ooh, what's with the lock camera, man? Hmm. You, I haven't. You don't typically wear use lock camera. That was just really weird looking. I think you just like. Oh, you should have just gone on the singed here. The singed is no MR. Oh. Jesus, I can't fucking use the things. Yeah, I think you. Okay, so you, first of all, you should have just gone on the singed. Like, Kha'Zix has a jump. And, like, yeah, Kha'Zix, like, he's the squishiest target, but he has double invisibility, he has a jump. You. May as well just go on the singe right there. He's about the same amount of health, and he had like he might have a little bit higher health, a little bit slightly more tanky, but he has he had no MR, and I think you just messed up your combo. Like you you tried to Q the Kha'Zix, and I think that was just a brain fart. I'm not gonna really criticize that too much. It just looked like a brain fart because you tried to Q Kha'Zix, then he went invisible, then he didn't Q singed, and then you tried to chase. It was just the mi just mistake, just a mistake in chasing, and then. Not and then, Cho'Gath was mid and you mi you missed about like a, a wave and a half, with Cho'Gath pushing in mid. So that's just map awareness. That was just more of a map awareness and de decision making error than of like a mechanic. I mean, partly mechanics, but m just all around just was a mistake. What you should have done was just go on the singed and then probably back out because the Cho'Gath was missing, or you could have just said pinned your team off and. Went mid, cause you missed out on like 20 CS. Cause you probably you missed you missed three waves now. So, yeah. All right. So that delayed your gunblade by a little bit. Also, back at your boots by, you could have also just waited for to get your gunblade. I mean, a lot of people say get boots before gunblade, like get your boots of speed before gunblade, but that's not f always needed. I mean, it is like you could have roam. You've been roaming a lot. It seems like you value roaming over. Uh, you waited too long again. You had to walk up. I don't know why you're being scared there. Like. When he's low like that and just recalling in front of your face, you can just get him. Like, even if Kha'Zix comes, you'll be able to escape. 
Unless, of course, he lands a Q. So Kha'Zix was just, just killing your jungler. So he's probably coming mid. If he's... I don't know how healthy he was, but... Trogath is going to be here soon, so... He could be roaming... Or coming mid. I want it. Hmm. Okay. Good time to back off. Now, this is... This this is scary, right? Oh, Kha'Zix just showed up top. All right, you're lucky, but... He could have been in this area, and that could have been really bad. Alright, try and save your buddy up top lane. Oh no! Damn. Well, hopefully you can clean this up. Your Morgana just left the game. That's not good. Dude, what's with the lock screen? Like, sometimes I, you use it, and sometimes you don't. Like, it's... You could have... I don't know, the chill gas there. Oh, you... Oh, shit. Like you. Hmm. Like. I think the. I, I would. This is not related to Akali, but I would just learn to not play on lock screen. Because it. You, you didn't see Cho'Gath there, I don't think. Because. Because of lock screen. And that was just an overstay. He's dead too. And it's weird because sometimes you play on no lock screen and then and then you'll lock your screen. It's kinda odd. Okay, you're dead. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit while the person's dead. Alright, they got the kill. Alright. We're gonna reconnect it. Still an even game. Morgana's still not moving. Just kill the Draven here. Oh, actually, no, no, no. That's fine. Oh, no. I'll kill the... Mm, nope. I would run. The Kha'Zix is right, uh, on your right side. There's no reason to stay in the Shroud. Oh, no. May as well go in. Mm, no. I mean, you can probably go in now. Get him, buddy! Fuck him up! Nice. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. Oh, no. You didn't ignite him! Ah! Alright, so you should have just ignited him. He has. Don't, don't chase him. Just run top lane. Alright, and since, so in this moment, you should just run top lane. You, you have. You have. You, you really gotta. Another thing you really gotta work on is just, like, it, from what I see, you roam way too much. Like, just, just farm, man. Like, farming on a collie in lane is such a big deal. Like, you need your gun blade as soon as possible. And right now, your Darius is low HP, your Morgana's dead, there's two people mid, you're not going to be able to help them out, at all. Your bot lane, there's two bot lane, I want you to run top lane, and push it in, and I want you to farm. Uh, oh my god, sweet. I think it's only because, oh no, no, it was only because Cossacks was low HP. Alright, so I think this is just the general, you don't know where to be on the map right now. So just, when your team, if your team is like, Four mini mid, and unless unless there's uh, you know a chance that a fight's gonna break out, and it, it just you need to farm like, and it, even right now like no one's grouping. It's not like you could be grouping around dragon, but just it's just it's just quadric. You just need to go. You should have just gone top here. There's no one else top lane. That turret was gonna go down whether you were there or not. You are now at 77 farm in such a small amount of time. You could have gone top lane and gotten more gold than you would have gotten. Well, actually, you would, you're, you're getting more gold here, but still, you would have gotten a lot more gold and ex more experience going top lane, because you would have gotten, like, two waves. Hmm. This, this looks like a bad idea. This just... Looks scary. Looks extremely scary. 
Like, you, you haven't farmed in a very long time. Oh my. And you're going the hyper carry build. I mean, it could work against their team comp, or it can go really poorly. Ah, uh, that Cho'Gath got that ultimate silence, dude. No! Get him! Don't miss! Nice. Wait, okay, that Rex I should just be running to his team. Alright, Shroud. There you go. Yeah, you, you're just locked. Like, just learn to play off lock screen, dude. Lock screen is hindering your play. By a lot. Just learn to not play on lock screen. I'm gonna say it a lot more than just than a couple times. Like, it, it is honestly hindering your play. Okay, Darius is kill him. Fucking kill him, dude. Yeah, who does that guy think he is? You're level eleven. All right. I would just heal up off jungle camps and get Sheen if you're gonna go. You don't have. All right, it's right here. You just kill Kozlik's. You have both Grump and Wolf to take. You have Gunblade. Like you can heal up, and I'm assuming you are going for. Lich Bane. Sheen would be a better buy here than getting the speed, the, the Wisp. And I feel like you're gonna go back and you're gonna get the Wisp, and I'm gonna be sad. Yes, I am sad. Like, this bit, the Gunblade Sheen, or, or, like, that Sheen would have been so much better here. And so next time, take your Grump, and take your Wolves, and then, okay, and, and, and then just come back. Okay, th there's another situ option, uh, another thing that kind of helped out. Like, you, you're kind of lucky that you're going to be able to defend the mid lane because you went back. Nice. Kill this guy. He has no sump. He has nothing. Kill him. Kill him, dude. Don't be scared. He just used his combo. Good shit. Good shit. Like, yeah, you just got to... Learn how to, like, learn your damage and learn your limits, which takes a while. But, I mean, like, dude, once you get that down, I, I believe in you. Okay. All right, you're splitting. This is smart. This is good. No, wait. No, go bot. Oh, actually, I don't know. I guess I, I value this foot pushing because this you're just going to die here. Oh. Oh. Friend. You're, like it's just like your team is super low. Like yeah, you can potentially clean up, but going bot lane, it's a for sure thing. You're for sure gonna get something out of pushing the turret and the minions in, because you still don't even have 100 CS and it's nearly 20 minutes, which is really good. Not good. I know Kali is like a, cha a champion that you know maybe can't farm the best as I'm the best laning phase, but like going for that right there. Yeah, you're six three and three. Your score looks straight. Like yeah, man, I'm doing well. Fuck my teammates. No, like you should have gone bot there. So you need to learn, like, tr like slowly learn how to play the map a lot more. Like, learn, like, your team have, so Morgana has no ulti, Vayne has no ulti, Darius has ulti, but he has no mana and he's, he's low in HP. Like, that just, it looks bad. It does not matter what their health is, unless they're all low, whatever, then it, it can work. But it, you saw, like, somewhat, like, Draven was full HP, you dove him under turret, that was, he took, like, five turret shots, like, I think you knew that was bad. But you asked somebody to review these games and try and give you some feedback. So that is what I'm doing. I might be a little bit harsh, and I'm sorry about that. But just you just learn how to. If your team's not doing anything useful, and you're not, uh, they're not like at your inhibitor turret. They're not at Baron. They're not doing anything super scary. The enemy team. Then just be farming. Be in a side lane. Be putting pressure somewhere else. Because if you go bot lane. And they're fighting fucking shit mid. You probably get that turret to half health. Because you're pretty strong right now in terms of your damage. But you probably get that turret to half health. Because if you last hit and you just push that shit in with your E. And then that makes two people go top bot lane. And then, whoa, dude. Oh my god. There's people fighting mid. We can't go bot lane to get a call. You push that in. You get the turret to half. You walk away. And then, wow, dude. Like, that. you just apply pressure when you're a champion that sucks in Siege. And 
everyone in every fucking elo all they want to do is aram and that's not what a collie wants to do like in multiple games people tell you like, oh my god a collie group 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 you're like yeah you need the group but you're not you don't want to mindlessly group unless it's like late game and you have to be together but still even when you're late game you can try to communicate to your team that you need to like put pressure somewhere else it, unless you're fighting like in the jungle you have vision you're trying to set up a pick you're f trying to you know just fight in the open that's fine but do not a ram and like shit like that that that's not stuff you need to be doing holy shit Oh my. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So there's three top side. And Shogat's mid. What do you do? Three stop, th three top side, big wave mid, Vayne's running mid, bot lane is equally pushing. I mean, honestly, like, it's. You guys have put yourself in a position where it's kind of hard to. You guys have just kind of been throwing. Alright. There's like three people around this guy. Hashtag. All mid, or what, some Asian letter, I don't know what that is. So he, okay, so he's saying all mid. Now this is, this is where you communicate to your team. Nicely, don't be toxic. Or if they're toxic back, you just mute them. That's the, just mute them, if they're toxic. This is where you say, hey, we shouldn't f just mindlessly group. We need to either fight in the open, which you don't have to engage, unless someone, unless you get a good binding, or a pull, or whatever. Or you say, hey, Darius wins against Singe for the most part. You can split push because you're pretty strong. And you're going Lich Bane, so you probably want to split push quite a bit because you're going to be not super great in team fights. And this is when you need to communicate that you need to split to apply pressure on the map. And then you use that pressure to push in. And you go somewhere else and you find a pick and you have a n the numbers advantage. You could also try and go top lane to kill Draven, but there's the issue with everyone on the top side of the map. Minus singed. Oh, what was that? No. Oh. oh. <sighs> just push. Just push top lane, man. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, just you just need to farm. Just push. Just push the side lane. That is like the moral of this whole game. Just push a side lane. Push something. Because you saw people, like, if you see people in a side lane, you're eventually going to have to go to that lane and push. And if your team's pinging you off, no, let's group, let's group, let's group. you got to play the map. You can't just let side lanes just push in. Alright, so that was your team's fault. It just shouldn't have been up that far. At this point, you can't... You, you just gotta push. Like, don't, like, overly... No, this is... Oh, no. You have no Shroud now, and you don't have Zonias. You, you're going to split pushing build. Like, the one-shot build. Alright. You have no Shroud. I mean, you might be able to pull this off. I highly doubt it. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is some clumpy ass that shit, dude. Alright, now go top lane and push. What I would have done is I would have gone top lane. Because you need to farm. You, you really need to learn how to farm. And you need to learn where to be. Like, try and split push or do something. Because you're just back there. No one's... I mean, Garrus is running bot, but... It, Look, I don't know. I, I, I try, I'm trying not to beat a dead horse. 
Alright, healing zonias. I mean, you didn't really need the zonias second, so that was fine. Like, your build is fine if you want to go full AP, it's just really risky. But I'm glad that you're going zonias. Because with this build, it, if you went death cap, you would just die instantly. And not do any damage. But you'd be able to split push if you went death cap. This means you're wanting the team fight. Because you do not seem to be like. You, I don't think you like the split push. Alright. Let's see how this team fight rolls out. Okay. Alright. You guys should be able to get this. You guys you should be able to kill him. Nice. Get a turret. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, you guys will push faster than the Singe. The problem is that their team is resing. And they, your team also tried to do Dragon. Hmm. Okay, you're really fed. Oh, I'll back out. I want to do that. You should be able to get that, though. Nice. Your Singe is... That Singe is doing so much, but... You, you have Lich Bane, so you can do a lot of damage here. And with Vayne, you'll be able to get double inhib, which is huge. Your Morgana is... Okay, I thought she was AFK. You did this the last game I... Okay, you did this the last game I watched. Oh, you just got double inhib. Literally, you did this the last game. You just got double on him. Baron's still up. Darius just dented, basically. Oh, and you flashed. You t <sighs> All right. I think you know. I, I, mean, I think you'll know that that, is, that was just the hard. Like, even if you get Draven and you get out, right? What are you going to get from that? You're going to get nothing. Absolutely nothing. You get double and hip, and you back off. It doesn't matter if someone runs at you, you fucking run, dude. There's, there's no reason, you're not going to get anything from that, except for you're both going to be dead. Total waste of a summoner, and a total waste. Hmm. This is on the old patch, so I mean you could go GA or you could go more more AP. I personally since it's the old patch, like you don't need any more damage, in my opinion. But I feel like knowing you as a player, this person's gonna go death cap. But since you like you don't like going tank out I, I mean if you want to go glass by all means like you but I feel like GA here would be great nice assassination well done that was really well done All right, you should end the game here. Three are dead. No, don't do Baron. End the game. What? End the game. Where's your team? All right, I mean, you Darius pinged it. Rex, I said end. Oh, God. Where's your Vayne and your Morgana? 
Oh no. Oh my. This is one clown fiesta. And you're not even gonna get the fucking third. Oh god. Oh my. Do you guys lose the game off that? Please don't tell me you lose the game off that. I don't know why Vayne's dot dot dotting. They ran top lane when there was no minions. Alright, so you, your Vayne should have just gone mid. You guys probably would have been able to get the turrets. Probably not in the game, but you would have gone really close to the end of the game. So that was your team's fault. Right there. I mean, another thing, I mean, there's two ways of looking at it. Your team, it was your, your teammate's fault for not following. But also, when you noticed that they were going top lane, you could have backed off and saved what was a bad idea, since your teammates didn't follow. But, that is, you can't really think like that, so, yeah. I mean, you can, because it's so, but, I mean, that was really your Vayne and Morgana's fault. If they came mid, you would have been able to at least get a turret, maybe two. So you gotta keep top lane pushed out at this point. There's no reason to go mid. There's no reason to go bot. Just push our top lane. I mean, like, you could send, like, one person mid or bot and push them all in. But Darius, he's just somewhere he doesn't need to be. And that's how this game has been. People are just being places they don't need to be. Alright, good job. Kill them all and end the game. Oof. That singe is kind of scary. Hmm. Probably can't end yet. But I feel like you guys are going to try to end regardless. And just run down mid lane. This game's tilting me. Shroud, buddy. I'll just get out. You just. Ooh. Ah, ha ha ha! Bane is dead. Oh no. Alright. I mean, obviously, I don't think I need to say I feel like I, I have to say it because I have said it multiple times. And. So. Both of them are down. You don't need to be in their base. You don't. You're not gonna end the game there. You're not even gonna get a Nexus to it. Just push out top lane, man. If Darius says TP, send him in another lane. But you need to push top lane. There's no reason to be there, man. And looking at the time of the... I'm not even sure who wins this game. From the looks of it, it looks like you guys lose the game. Yeah, their inhibs are respawning soon. You guys have just been letting top lane push in. I don't know, man. They're probably going to pick a Baron here. Huh? Oh, my. All mid. Push top lane out. Top lane, push out. Ah! Ugh. This isn't even like a... There's not really much to say about your own Akali gameplay. It's all about... It's basically just me coaching you on how to play the map, which there's really not much that I could say about your Akali gameplay, just other than the early game. You could have... Oh, no, buddy. Ah, oh, you're dead. Man, happens to the best of us. I mean, it, it, it's happened to me before, but... There's just, there's no reason for you to be there. And I think they're just going to push it down, and then the game. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. So. Some. Okay, so some things to say about the game. Um, a TLDR, so to speak. Um, just. Okay, so in the early game, like, just, just in the presets, like, look to use your shroud. I, you got it, and you didn't. Like, you had that really bad level 1 trade, but you didn't use it. Like, you didn't use it, like, at all. You used it very few. So, like, learn to use your shroud more often, especially to CS. Like, just throw them off guard. Like, use use the shroud Q autos, especially, like, when you have your empowered auto attack. Even if you don't, just, like, there's times where you could have heavily, like, pressured that Cho'Gath when you didn't. Second, learn to play off lock screen. Just whether you need to play hundreds of normal games, I don't know, but... There was times where you didn't know someone was there, or you didn't see what you needed to see because you were on lock screen. There was times where you missed kills because you were on lock screen. Just learn to play off lock screen. Number three, learn to farm. You roam way too much. Just honestly, roam less. Like you just roam way less and just work on farming. Because I think you had just what just just way less. Just w way, way too low CS. Um, and there's times where you could have been farming. It's not like you, you know, like you had to fight until to survive. You, there was so many times where you could have been farming a lane or whatever, and you just didn't. Um, four. Just it, it kind of goes to the farming thing. You just look to not be with your team at all times. You don't need to be with your team at all times. Um, just when they're grouped up mid, a ramming, just go to another way. If your top laner TP's there, or like if there's a massive wave in the side lane, like just you just need to like just farm the shit, dude. Like there's so many like just I, it's hard to explain how to play the map correctly. Like that's that's just something that will come with experience. I can't just like fully teach you how to play the map and then you'll like know what to do and know where to be in the map. Like I can't always. Like, that's not something you're just going to instantly learn, like, in, in a fucking day. It takes a lot of time to know where to be on the map and know what to do in the mid-game. But basically, a short thing about what to do as a collie in the mid-game is just apply pressure and split push, but try and... It's a mixture of grouping and splitting. And, like, you don't want to, like, be like Trinomir that's O10 split pushing just to be a nuisance. Like, you need to find that balance of being there with your team when they need you the most and like it's hard it's really hard to find that balance but all right i'll, I'll move on number five when you, it's it's hard to shock call and so look this is another thing that it, it kind of all ties in together it's all it's kind of all about map movements and knowing what to do in the map because it seemed like nobody knew what to do in that game everyone was like Oh, let's go mid. Ah, oh, you know, like you, your vein and Morgana, like it, it didn't help. Like you could have possibly ended the game, but you had two inhibs, mid and bot lane, and then you your your top lane inhib was down. So just you just push top lane, man. Like that's like if anything, that's just that that should be solo queue one on one for you. Just you have two inhibs down. Go to the lane where you don't have an inhib down, and then just push that lane, man. And then you just—it's basically free load from that point. And okay, and then I don't think I have a six one. Just basically, just and, and there's so many times where you just kind of went in, man. Just maybe just play a little chill. Like it, it's hard to just play smart. That's I. I mean, you had a good KDA for the most part during that game. It's just your deaths were just really stupid. I. I know that doesn't help you at all, but there's the time where you just you got you got you first got the two inhibs and then you just flash and borderline intentionally feed under under nexus two nexus turrets um and into like three people. Like it was a suicide mission and you 
probably weren't going to kill anybody. That was really bad. And then, like, when, when you had the sins, just, just don't roam. Just farm. And if it's look to abuse, like, use your shroud more, farm, and that's about it. All right. I, I hope that helped you, dude. And peace. Okay.